Right, welcome ladies and gents. The Suicide Squad Killed the Justice League has released and it's an unmitigated disaster for Warner Brothers and Rocksteady. And there's a lot of damage control articles. There's a lot of damage control articles uh, suggesting just how bad it is and how bad it is for Warner Brothers and Rocksteady. And they're also highlighting Steam reviews being worryingly bad, worryingly low counts of Steam reviews. Even though the Steam reviews are positive, and there's also feedback that Steam has been deleting positive reviews. There's actually a lot of feedback to suggest that they're deleting positive reviews. So I wouldn't put it past Warner Brothers contacting Steam and saying, hey, or Valve, saying, hey, guys, let can we sort of, you know, try to steer the narrative ship a little bit? Uh, this has opened to worse uh, play account than Marvel's Avengers. It's really bad. Yesterday, it had a concurrent play account of 13,000. Uh, today, it had a play account of about 4,000. Now, it may be up right now, but that's how it has been. It's really, really bad. Uh, make no mistake, they've sunk loads of cash into this. Way too much cash. So, let's take a look, because I think that there's an argument. I think, I think there's genuine evidence that they've been deleting positive reviews, and it's terrible if they have. So, we have articles such as this. So... You know, this is one from Forbes. Suicide Squad killed the Justice League's meta score, and Steam play account are worryingly low. So this is just a bit of a background, I think, for you guys. Those that are a bit unaware of everything that's going on. So they say this, while there is at least a little bit of a divide between critics and early players of rock studies kill the Justice League, some key metrics are coming out unfavorably for the life service looter shooter. With review codes not given out until launch day, Scores are now trickling in, where after two dozen reviews, Suicide Squad has a meta score of 62. It's pretty bad. And then on Steam, and this is the thing, and then on Steam, even if user reviews are very positive, 85% positive in fact, that doesn't really add up, does it? The overall concurrent player counts are extremely low. It topped out at 13,459 players yesterday. Yeah, not good. That's not good at all. And while I expected to get past that today, as Sundays are usually the highest in the three-day weekend, yeah, well, yesterday it was 12, so no. Uh, that is very, very poor for a game this high profile. So just to put the numbers into perspective, Suicide Squad killed the Justice League, Meta score 62, Marvel's Avengers 67, sorry, what? Anthem 59, Outriders 73, Gotham Knights 67, Marvel Midnight Suns 83, Guardians of the Galaxy 80, Destiny 285. So not not good, guys. A 61 is dismal. There's no way around it, especially in the context of the Arkham trilogy. Yep. It's not good. Critic, critics' reviews are bad. And they say this. While it's true that Steam uses a score in the game quite positively, as of yet, that is not translated to player count. I wonder. I wonder why that is, ladies and gents. Uh, this is a bigger problem than a meta score until consoles are wildly higher. For context, more comparison for Steam concurrent peaks. Marvel's Avengers, it's <laughs> 31,000 concurrent players. That was de that was like delisted and removed as well. And they dropped any support for it. Suicide Squad's 13,000 concurrent players. Look at the rest of them. Outriders, 125. Gotham Knights, 24. Even Marvel's Midnight Suns has more. This is woeful, guys. Woeful. Absolutely terrible. Like, that. that's really bad. But then we have articles like this, or discussions, sorry, on Steam itself. Very positive reviews on Steam. How? The, my, thing, my thing, exactly. The game has a 63 out of 100 on Metacritic and OpenCritic, and 3.8 out of 10 on user score. It has been shredded in most reviews, and for good reason. I read that they had less than 15,000 simultaneous players 24 hours after launch, which is a huge flop. So how come it has very positive reviews on Steam? Did the developer make a couple hundred fake accounts just to upvote the game? This is true. Uh, because people buying it on Steam and keeping the game liked the game, that's, that's, that is true. Uh, because on Steam you need to buy the game in order to review it so it gets genuine reviews. On all the other review sites, any randomer can add a review whether they've played it or not. 
Well, I disagree with that. But then we have this. A lot of reviews are getting deleted. I've never seen Steam be this protective of a bad game. Yesterday, the top review was stating how 15,000 reviews got deleted. Steam probably thinks it's getting review bombed and is taking a heavy-handed approach to countering it. It's the most anti-consumer thing I have ever seen Steam do, and I'm very disappointed. And then we have this. Uh, I hope that you need to get the game to review it. How, blah, 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 would I review the game did not play, blah, blah, blah. I mean, this is, this is pretty bad if that is the case. Yeah, another propaganda. They are deleting reviews. It's not even true. Probably a fan of... Oh, right, okay. I think that they are. I think that from what I've seen, they are actually deleting reviews. For whatever reason, those reviews aren't showing up on the store page, probably because they don't want the top reviews there to be negative with 7,000 upvotes. Ah, so at the top of this screen, click reviews and look at the top reviews there to get a better idea of how they're handling reviews here. For whatever reason, those reviews aren't showing up on the store page, probably because they don't want the top reviews there to be negative. Hmm. If there have been thousands of negative reviews which were deleted overnight, then they should have shown up on Steam DB at least for their weighted score. They haven't. To me, it just looks like the same situation with Starfield, where the initial negativity is sucked away by the reviews seen at launch. Maybe. Apparently they're being suppressed. Also, the total at the, on the store page has only gone up from 24,000 to 26. Uh, oh, 2600, sorry. Uh, in about the last 15 or so hours. That I don't believe. The total should be around at least 6,000, 7,000 by now for a game like this. And if it's not selling, like if those numbers are legit and they're only getting 200 reviews a day, then that right there should tell you all you need to know about the game. That's true. It looks like the score is going down 1% per day. Give it time. <laughs> That's insane. Last night around midnight when I went to sleep, looked at the top store, looked at the store page, total reviews and thought, wow, 2,400 give or take is low for a game like this. Then when I came to check it out a few minutes ago, it was at 2,600 give or take and I thought there's something up with that. That's it though, no screenshots. That's quite bad. So here's the Steam DB link for this game. Makes it easy to keep an eye on. My rule of thumb from the indies. So, yeah, it's absolutely being torn apart, basically. And it does look like they're, they're manipulating and potentially deleting reviews. That's so bad. That's so, so bad. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Yeah, bad times. But again, the concurrent players on it are awful anyway. Like, genuinely terrible. Is it store page? Let's have a look. Very positive. Only 2,891 reviews. Huh. But then the most helpful reviews are negative. The two top ones are negative. Interesting. I think that says a lot. Wow. What do you guys think? I definitely reckon there's some uh, silly shit going on. There's barely any concurrent players. Literally no one is playing it. Not literally no one, but not many people are playing it, that's for sure. Anyway, I'd love to hear your thoughts. So cheers, guys. Take care. Bye-bye now.